King Frederick X of Denmark appeared to be in high spirits as he arrived in Poland for his first overseas trip since Margrethe II's abdication earlier this month. The newly enthroned 55-year-old royal flashed a smile as he met Polish President Andrzej Duda in Warsaw this morning. The couple appeared to be enjoying each other's company as they chatted during the official welcoming ceremony at the country's presidential palace. Frederick wrapped himself warmly in a winter coat over a light-down jacket, paired with black leather gloves. Photos of him from that day also show him wearing a black suit and blue shirt, as well as a purple tie. This is the king's first trip abroad since his mother abdicated the throne after 52 years on the throne. His goals for this three-day visit are energy efficiency and climate-friendly agriculture. Frederick will also lead the Danish business delegation, which includes 38 participating companies from Poland. After the welcoming ceremony at the palace, he and Danish Foreign Minister Lars Luga Rasmussen took part in a conversation with President Duda, followed by a formal lunch. Next on the agenda is a wreath-laying ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers, erected after the First World War, visits to the Saimas and Senate, and a round-table discussion on energy efficiency issues. The evening will conclude with a grand dinner in the Kubicki Galleries at the Royal Palace in Warsaw. On top of that, the king also reiterated how he will send his congratulations to couples celebrating their 60th, 65th, 70th and 75th wedding anniversaries. Along with this, the Danish royal family published a photo of a greeting card, which was printed on white paper and contained their code. Under the printed congratulatory message, King Frederick put his new signature for the first time since becoming the official monarch. Like King Charles, the monarch signed his name with the letter R, standing for Rex, which is Latin for King. While Queen Mary's new signature has not been revealed, she will presumably also use the letter R like Queen Camilla. In September 2023, King Charles and Queen Camilla signed birthday cards for Britain's oldest living men and women. John celebrated his 111th birthday this summer and Ethel turned 114. Shortly after the Queen's death in September 2022, Buckingham Palace unveiled a new royal cipher, which features the King's initials, named Charles, and the title Rex, as well as the Roman numeral III. Earlier this month, members of the Danish royal family shared intimate and very telling behind-the-scenes footage of King Frederick's proclamation. Queen Margrethe signed her historic abdication papers with her son and grandson, 18-year-old Prince Christian, present at Christiansborg Palace in Copenhagen. The Queen's last words, before leaving the Council of State, were, God save the King. After this, the new king addressed the crowd gathered outside the royal palace from the balcony. The father of four, wearing his military regalia, took a deep breath and looked at the assistant, waiting for permission to go out onto the balcony.